Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. A Clio man sentenced for sexually assaulting an underage girl. John D.G. Acoma will spend 10 to 20 years behind bars for two counts of criminal sexual conduct in Genesee County. Investigators say he and a co-defendant assaulted the 14-year-old girl in 2014 and 2015 in Tuscola, Genesee, and Saginaw counties after she became his neighbor. Court records say the men provided her with drugs and threatened to kill her and her family when she attempted to cut ties with them. This sentence will run concurrently with his nearly 50 year sentence for the assaults in Tuscola County. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel wants to make sure you're gambling responsibly as the Powerball jackpot continues to climb. She says that gambling should be enjoyed only as a form of entertainment rather than a way to try to make a quick buck. For growing jackpots, lottery clubs are often formed with the hope of increasing their odds by combining money together from multiple people and buying more tickets. She says those clubs are legal as long as no one receives money for running the club. If you or someone you know has a problem with gambling, you can call 1-800-270-7117. A special viewing opportunity for the Great American Eclipse. You're invited to the Longway Planetarium in Flint to celebrate the rare astronomical event. Although Michigan is not in the path of totality, we will still see a near total eclipse. On Monday, you can see the eclipse at the planetarium through a telescope and beginning at noon, you can watch the show Totality, which will play every 30 minutes. There's also hands-on activities inside with NASA's live coverage airing in the lobby. Remember, special glasses are needed to safely see the eclipse. You can find out where you can get yours in the hotlink section of WNEM.com. Now here's Diane with your first alert forecast. We are keeping an eye on that solar eclipse forecast, but we got to get to the weekend first. We will have some clouds that fill in here this evening, but as far as the dry conditions, we will hold on to those. So that's going to be great for your weekend plans. As we go through the hour by hour conditions, you'll still find the clouds are overextending their stay. They're sleeping in tomorrow, so we are going to start out the weekend with some cloud cover, but don't worry. It doesn't take long. By lunchtime, we're going to start clearing things out and you will be using your sunglasses by the afternoon. We'll keep those sunny conditions still holding on for Sunday's forecast, though a few clouds are going to be possible. We'll even find more clouds building in towards our west. This is going to be with some rain associated with it. The timing, though, may not be ideal as you're thinking that's getting here right around Monday, but don't worry. We're going to be seeing this line of rain that's going to be pushing through. Here we are at seven o'clock at night, so a lot of us are going to be asleep by the time that rain does approach. So during the daylight hours of Saturday and Sunday, it's overall going to be really nice. We're going to have the bright sunshine. Temperatures are going to be into the 50s, a little more cloud cover on Sunday just with that system coming in, but overall there shouldn't be too many complaints with the weekend. Now, as far as complaints on the solar eclipse forecast, we are working on it in Overall, things seem to be shaping up a little bit. First off, we'll have 60s. That's what we're anticipating. Of course, during that coverage of the sun, we may lose a couple degrees. We just lose some of that heating, and then we will have that chance of rainfall. A lot of that's going to be Sunday night into Monday morning, but into the afternoon, partly sunny skies are expected. Dry weather, and hopefully the clouds are very light and thin, just like what we have here in this image. In your first alert seven-day forecast, we have the 50s for the weekend and 60s for next week. We will see it's a little bit more of an unsettled weather pattern as we have some slight rain chances and 60s are not normal for April. We're going to be finding 50s is where we should be and that's where we'll be about seven days from now. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.